History of leggings The historical backdrop of leggings traverses hundreds of years. Leggings in different structures and under different names have been worn for warmth and assurance by the two people consistently. The different hose worn by men in Europe from the 14th to 16th hundreds of years was a type of leggings, just like the trues of the Scottish Highlands. Separate leggings of buckskin cowhide were worn by some Native Americans. These were received by some long hunters, French hide trappers, and later by mountain men. They are the leather stockings of James Fenimore Cooper's leather stocking tails. The buckskins, in any case, were for the most part a dull dark mind tan. Not the splendid reflexive vegetable tanned calfskin we so ordinarily observe today. It was additionally regular for leggings to be made of light fleece. Modern leggings Leggings as skin-tight pants, a more tight form of the capris finishing at mid-calf or close to lower leg length. It advanced into design during the 1960s and were worn with a huge belt and slip-on high heels or expressive dance-level style shoes. Leggings produced using a nylon lycra mix, generally 90% nylon, 10% lycra, which are generally worn for workout, albeit starting during the 1980s they have additionally been worn for design. Nylon lycra leggings are frequently alluded to as biker running leggings and are shinier in appearance than those produced using cotton. Many have hustling stripes or intelligent examples to additionally recognize them as athletic wear and give additional well-being. Leggings craze Leggings are regularly lower leg length, they are every so often stirruped, or less ordinarily, footed. On account of their soulless and alluring appearance, leggings immediately discovered out of the wellness clubs and into regular easygoing wear. Wearing dark leggings under long, regularly translucent, skirts was a piece of a general style pattern of wearing rec center or move garments as road wear. This developed alongside the wellness furor and affected by the film Flash Dance and the long-running Broadway show A Chorus Line. A later pattern sets dark leggings with mini skirts. Murky leggings might be worn by ladies without a skirt. Except if the lady is likewise wearing a long top, the base will be uncovered. As I'm certain a few perusers know, there might be the feared obvious underwear line when worn without a skirt. 1990s and beyond By the mid-1990s, leggings were really surpassing pants in numerous pieces of the United States, however a reaction of sorts happened in the mid-late AS in regards to the attire thing. Men have likewise started to wear leggings all the more every now and again as of late as long clothing, and for increasingly easygoing physical exercises, for example, strolling, climbing or planting, supplanting the old backup, warm-up pants. Leggings are additionally worn as a style pattern by men on the London electro music scene. In 2005, leggings started to make a rebound into the universe of high style, especially in non-mainstream culture, by blending capri-length leggings with smaller than normal skirts with this resurgence proceeding into 2006 and 2007. This resurgence harmonized with the prevalence of boho chic as a general style of design. Thus, leggings are likewise now well known to wear with larger than average, long sweaters. This pattern towards tight jeans can on the other hand be found in the resurgence of thin pants. Some quality this restored ubiquity of leggings to supermodel Kate Moss own style sense. Today, with the ever so the popularity of leggings, we see printed legs, oil slick legs, shiny legs, holy or distressed, you name it there is a legging for it. Thanks to American stores Azzle there are thousands of prints, solids, and shiny fabrics to choose from. Given the history of the legging, I believe it will never disappear. So find your perfect fabric for your leggings here at Sazzle. You will find a link to the store under the video.
subscribe to my channel and like. Thanks. Goodbye.